I heard a really heartbreaking case this morning. Studies show that nearly two thirds of adolescents have an angry episode where they break things. Most people learn how to control this behavior, but anger management was an issue for the couple who came to see me today. Divorce court is now in session. Ms. Jenkins and Mr. Cheatham, you two are here. Uh, Ms. Jenkins, you have filed for divorce. Uh, you say there is absolutely no chance of reconciliation unless Mr. Cheatham gets some help. You say that he needs help with his out of control temper. Why don't you tell me what your issues are with his temper? Jimmy screams when he's upset. Um, he yells, he uses profanity. He breaks things. Um, he had his job for eight years that he's lost mm -hmm. a couple months ago due to his temper. How did he lose his job because of his temper? A coworker stated something to him. He didn't like what he stated, so Jimmy then replied with a threat. M Mr. Cheatham, is that, did that happen? Somewhere it happened that way. It happened, you know. How many kids do you have in your household? In my household, I have, um, we, all together, we have five boys. You have five boys. Five boys. Do you believe you have a bad temper? Um, maybe, maybe, maybe you so. You lost yes, your yes, dollar yes. behind. Yeah, 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 I do. You lost your, your income behind <laughs> anger. So you got to realize that some juncture that that's an issue, right? Right. Right. How often do you get angry at home? Not often at all. I mean, unless, unless something's done to me. Well, nobody gets angry well, until something happens. I feel disrespected. That's when, that's when my anger comes. How easily do you feel disrespected? Not very easy, but when, when you're my wife, you're supposed to come do the things that, that's, that a wife's supposed to do. Okay. Such as call home instead of being out all night with her friends and don't even call. At times, I have to be at work, you know? And, and she don't call, and I feel that's disrespectful. Now, Ms. Jenkins, are you hanging out to all hours of the night and not making sure that your husband knows that you're safe and where you are? Um, I have, I have, but I have after the interest was lost with Jimmy. Mm -hmm. Because um, it was years that I dealt with Jimmy being angry. Mm -hmm. And that's how I fell out of love with him. Mm -hmm. And then you say that's what preceded you hanging out and stuff because you just kind of gave up on the marriage. Yeah, I was at my I was at my wit's end with it. You know, Jimmy, I could ask a question, and his reply is angry. Okay. It, Give me some examples of some some simple things that um, have made him angry. A, we had a, and I was actually pregnant at this time. We had a he. I heard him in the living room you know, yelling and pranning on, but I didn't know about what. So when I came out to ask what was the problem, I don't even remember the problem no more because he just went off the handle. He was ironing at the time, broke the iron, the ironing board through, I had um, a wooden angel mm -hmm. that it meant a lot to me. Not no more because he's, it's, the wing was flew one way and the other part the angel went the other way. <laughs> Mr. Cheetah, do you remember breaking the ironing board and the iron and the angel? Uh, do you remember that? Yeah, I, I remember that. Do you I remember what that. you were angry about? Not exactly. Was, Not exactly. Oh, this was years ago. Years, years ago. Years. When is the last time he's really gotten angry? I mean, is this a problem that has resolved over the years? Uh, it's been um, the first three years that me and Jimmy were together was good. Mm -hmm. You know, Jimmy is a good dad and he is an awesome provider. The anger, the temper, his body language, the behavior was out of, just got out of control. When you say body language, are you intimidated by him? I have been, but I don't, I try not to show it, mm -hmm. but I have been in the past. Mm -hmm. Mr. Cheetah, It's like you... walking on eggshells. Mm -hmm. How many times a week does he get angry? Very often. Very often. Once a week? I could ask a question, and the response, not only, you know, he just, the response is, you know. Now, now Mr. Chief, just, just, just breathe out a little bit. Think about the last month or two. 
Do you see that you're getting angry more than a couple times a week? Do you see that you're uh, intimidating at all? or is she... I don't see that I'm intimidated at all. Uh -huh. I'm a very nice person. Uh -huh. um, if you made me mad, sometimes I, I sit around and I don't look like I'm sad or I'm mad about something. But I'm not really mad. I'm, uh -huh. I'm happy. You know, but when you come disrespecting me, um, staying out all night, not giving me a call, ask you where you been, I was at my friend house. At your friend house, you still could have gave me a call. Mm -hmm. I feel that's disrespectful, you know what I'm saying? Even though you was falling out of love or didn't even want to be with me, you could have told me. M Mr. Cheatham, Mr. Cheatham, very good yeah. remark. Inappropriate in this circumstance, but a very good remark. Is that your primary problem with her, is that she is, she's just out and about and hanging out and hasn't just shown you the respect of while she's still in the house with you um, being a faithful wife? Yeah, that, that, I mean, that, that have, that's part of some of the reasons I had to do with that, you mm -hmm. know. Um, her meeting somebody else, you know. You that, did meet somebody else. And you I, did have a boyfriend, which would make anybody <laughs> angry. Wouldn't you yeah, think? I mean, I, any husband would be mad if his wife had a boyfriend. I, and I did. I did. And it was after I let Jimmy, and he asked me, are you in love with me? I told, I told him the honest truth. I said, no, not anymore. You know, and we still try to stick it out a couple more months. Mm -hmm. And it just wasn't working you know I had no I I had no interest you know e and even sex you know Jimmy would get angry about sex Does she but, if, like but, but if I, I mean, but if I do get have sex with him the next day he's still mad so I'm confused he gets mad that you don't have sex but when you have sex he's still mad about not having sex in the morning and, and I'm not well, he's, he's mad the next day um, he expresses anger still or you know that morning just say it could be a lot going on you know it doesn't you... cool him out is what you're saying yeah it doesn't make I just it calm thought it would have maybe a little bit but you know it so but then my thing is how can I be romantic with my husband if all day long when you're right when you come from work you're flipping out I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't. Sit but, but Mr. Cheetah, was, how long was it okay? I mean, I know she's running around on you now, which, you know, you can't get mad because somebody's mad because you, you, you running around on them. I mean, that's an all day, every day anger kind of thing. And, and you can't, you can't claim, I'm you can't not, claim I'm... victim behind that. But what I'm trying <laughs> to find out right. is before all that started happening, how long were things good and what turned them around? Her boyfriend or whoever contacted me on social media. And what did he say? Telling me that I'm a deadbeat dad. He went and bought my baby some diapers. Have you been living together for years but find that splitting up is as complicated as getting a divorce? Call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Divorce Court. So, Mr. Cheatham, how long were you married before things started going sideways on you? Um, I'm gonna say a good, my son, he was about three, four years old, mm -hmm. so about four years. And what happened? Five. What changed? Was it a, a culmination of all small little things over the years? Or? Call, small, call, um, just small things. Just small things. Just really small things. I mean, never know. Uh, never know uh, what? Physical Did abuse or anything like that. Right. Yeah, no, I have right. disrespected her by calling her name. Out of her name, but yeah, she deserved it at that time, you know, because that's the way I feel, felt. That's where no I No one deserves my anger. getting called a name at that time. Do you know what I mean? Not a right. spouse. You know, it's, it's right. just not cool. It's, it's not, not, cool it's not a right like thing that. to do, and it, it's not helpful. It doesn't forward the conversation at all. Yeah. So I, I just want to put that out there. Yeah. Having said that, Mr. Cheatham, I understand you also had a girlfriend at one point yourself. Yeah, I had a Is girlfriend. Is that true? Now, what, in what year of marriage did you have a girlfriend? Not even for a month, Your Honor. Okay. Your Honor, well, it was a short-term side short -term. chick, but it was a side chick. So I want to know, when in the I relationship answer. did she show up? Oh, <laughs> when she told me she wasn't in love with me no more. And I still waited six or seven months after that. She was the one that was hot, ready to go get some more, you know? 
Okay. And <laughs> so you had a girlfriend during the time he she had a boyfriend. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 So y'all were just y'all were she, just out there. And she no, <laughs> and she contacted me. Uh-huh. And she expressed her feelings about Jimmy also about his temper and his attitude. That's why they're not together no more. Miss oh, Jenkins, okay. you mean to tell me that the yep. woman who was sleeping with your husband called you to commiserate about I his anger? We were gonna be, I almost thought we were going to be friends, huh. our conversation. Was but she I'm calling for advice? Did she want to know how to <laughs> handle it? Or? I, I, you know what? I'm not sure, but I just let her know straight. You don't have to let me know anything because we have um, our kids together and... I was with him for seven years. Uh -huh. So what you're telling me, love, after um, what a month or two, I already know. Okay. So she was trying to give you a heads up, like, like I'm, I, I'm here, I am here, I am, and you're like, I don't care. I know I didn't yeah. because you know the feelings weren't you there. You still love anymore. her, don't you, Mr. Cheatham? Yeah, I still love her, but you know what? And it I really, still love really, her. Let, let him speak. A lot of anger came from to her boyfriend or whoever contact me on social media. And what did he say? Telling me that I'm a deadbeat dad. He went and bought my baby some diapers. Okay, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? But I do for my kids. When she put me out, I stayed and try to get my... I stayed damn near on the streets trying to get my stuff together. I didn't have a place to stay. She didn't care. She's telling me that, that, that she loved me, but she didn't want me to go nowhere. But who wants to be around somebody who doesn't love you? And doesn't, you know, yeah. doesn't love you anymore. Did you expect him to stick around while you were hanging out with this other dude and, and take care of the finances, or...? Actually, prior to Joshua, I asked Jimmy for a couple of years... Joshua was the boyfriend, right? Yes. Okay. To please get help with his anger, mm -hmm. his temper. And, you know... Having a boyfriend on the side, I just was... gotta say, <laughs> is not a good way to deal with somebody else's anger issue. Right. It, no, I understand that, but I asked prior lonely. to meeting Joshua... I asked prior to meeting Joshua for Jay to get help with his anger. I didn't marry him to get divorced. I married you because I loved you. Did she ask... For you to get help with your anger at yes, some yeah. juncture, yeah. and and your response to that request was what? Um, that I wanted to get help, and I and I wanted to do it, but you know what? He never did. I never did, and I let it slip by me, and so she slipped out of my hands too. Yeah. How can I, you know, even allow myself to even consider right. going back into that environment because yeah. it took you so long to get out? And now you feel... <sighs> if you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Divorce Court. So you say she did come to you, she did ask, and do you regret not... Getting help it. for the anger? I regret the anger? it. I regret it because I miss my kids. They look at me. Take your time. They want to be with me all the time. Um, so I regret it. And you know, I wish I could change things, but I just have to leave it in God's hands. Whatever happens, happens. Do you believe that if you were to to make an effort to contain your anger now, that it might assist you in, even if not giving you the ability to get back the love and, and that communication, but it would help you guys more as a family. Right, it will. I think it will. Ms. Jenkins, do you believe that help for his anger is an opportunity at getting back together or not really? <clears throat> well, at this point, you know, it's been over a year since me and Jimmy has been together. Mm -hmm. So my feelings are right now at this point um, not there, mm -hmm. you know? And so I can't really say, you know. Let me ask you this. How is, I mean, obviously his relationships with the kids mm -hmm. is wonderful. Yeah. 
And you don't have any trouble seeing them. I mean, she she uh, makes them no available. She, she makes sure. She makes like sure. She's throwing at me, so that's, huh? good. that's good. It's like she throw them at me, so right. that's good. You yeah, know. yeah. <laughs> Because she likes to uh, hang out with her friends. Oh, yeah. And that's but why if she... You, and, and I get... I, Mr. Cheetah, Mr. Cheetah, we're going to talk about that in a minute. But, Ms. <laughs> Jenkins, you say you don't love him, but you're shedding an awful lot of tears. No, no, I still love Jimmy. Mm -hmm. I will always love Jimmy. Being with him or considering being back together, it's yeah. tough because I'm... I'm in this year that we have been separated, yes, I was with Joshua, but you also still express your anger because you just got fired. So oh, how I can see. how yeah. can I, you know, even allow myself to even consider right. going back into that environment because yeah. it took you so long to get out and now you feel <sighs> my house should feel complete fired. with him. But it felt completed after he left. Even though I got fired, I had a second job. I was working two jobs, Your Honor. Uh -huh. I'm working two jobs. Uh -huh. So, yeah, I was at one job that I got fired from, seven or eight years. She knew I was tired of being there. Mm -hmm. All the drama, up and downs, not being able to be in management. But that's your main, I still had your a job. Main, that was his main source of income. income. Yeah, you, 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 you can't, you, when we have children right? involved, mm -hmm. we ha can't act like that. You, 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 you just can't do it. Right. You know, you just can't no do it. No matter what. In divorce court, people tell me the most intimate details of their lives. Join the conversation and share your experience on our Twitter page at Divorce Court and on our Facebook page. See how fans deal with their own relationships. The discussion can get heated. Don't miss it. I think I've got two stable, loving people who love one another, who have a great family, but who, whose best thing was the fact that you filed for this divorce. It is difficult to leave a situation where you love somebody, uh, where you have kids with him, where he's a provider, where he is a good father, but you don't feel safe in your own home. And to get the courage after all that time to gather up and go, I applaud you for that. I don't think everybody is able to do that. A lot of people get stuck in the grind of that relationship. And often women feel like they ought not ever give up. But what I'm saying to you is you didn't give up. You went to the next level and, and, and you did the best you could for your kids. And I'm glad you stepped on and I'm glad you filed for the divorce. And don't ever look back and think, what if, or I didn't try hard Thank enough, you. because I see that. Mr. Cheatham, you are not a bad guy. You're just difficult to live with. And people sometimes aren't able to sustain whatever thing that you've got going that's not working well for you. It is not an indictment of your character. It is a reflection of, of the atmosphere that you created. And I believe for your children that you ought to go get anger management. You're not going to get her back. She's out. She's going to stay out. But for your children, for tomorrow, for that next job with the jerk boss, for yourself, for your future. Get anger management, okay? Do that for yourself, for her, and for your kids. This matter is adjourned. Thank you. You know, in so many ways, Naomi reminds me of a lot of the women that I hear from uh, who ask me questions online. They feel like their situation is untenable, they're not comfortable in their own home, things aren't good, but they always feel guilty when they get ready to go. And I was so proud that Naomi, and I would like to make sure people understand that not choosing not to live in an uncomfortable environment does not mean you are wrong, that you have failed, or that you have given up. You have simply moved beyond what wasn't working so you could do and live a life that is workable. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222.